the Grand Hotel on Michigan's famous Mackinac Island. It's been known as America's summer place since it opened in 1887. The famous Esther Williams Swimming Pool, as it's been called since 1947, is located directly in front and slightly below the iconic front porch of the hotel. What would it be like if you were the concrete contractor providing the foundation modernizing an American treasure like this? How do you pour and form between 11 and 1,200 cubic yards of concrete on an island composed almost entirely of boulders, ranging in size from around 15 inches up to 2 feet, in the middle of the Straits of Mackinac in the dead of an Arctic-like winter, with your only access being by ferry boat? Streeter Brothers Inc. from Burton, Michigan is doing just that. They'll have seven months to complete the Herculean task before reopening in time for Memorial Day 2021. And we'll be there with them, updating their progress with videos on this and other websites. Keep checking back to see how Greg and Joe Streeter and their crew work in daunting weather conditions and solid frozen ground as temperatures plummet and winds pummel. Well, it's the holiday season, and that usually means snow, and the Streeter Brothers crew working on the new pool complex at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island want a white Christmas as much as the rest of us. But before they head home for the holidays, they have to work through the first snowstorm of the season on the island. That came on December 12th, dropping six inches on the project site. Not a big storm by northern Michigan standards, but it still creates logistical challenges when your job is pouring, forming, finishing, and curing huge amounts of concrete that will have to hold thousands of gallons of water for many years to come. Of course, the Streeter Brothers crew is up to the task with the assistance of ground thawing and concrete curing heating technology. Hundreds of feet of hose pumping hundreds of gallons of heated glycol solution does the trick and the largest wall pour of the project takes place on schedule during the small storm on December 12th. Then finally on December 15th, Greg and Joe Streeter's crew finished forming the last two sections of the exterior pool walls. The next day they were able to pour a few smaller sections and poured the basement slab that'll house the pool mechanical equipment. Meanwhile, the family whirlpool floor took several days to prep and place the re-steel, and the concrete floor was then poured on December 17th. Well, the deep freeze finally hit Mackinac Island for the second half of January, but undaunted, the Streeter Brothers Inc. crew is hard at it. After prepping for several days, they poured the largest section of seat bench and the first set of steps in the large pool. The next day, they poured the retaining walls surrounding the family whirlpool and the last section of seat bench in the large pool. Work on the family whirlpool began on January 14th and was somewhat challenging as tying re-steel and forming small radius walls up against the new retaining walls tested the crew's skills. But true to form and thanks to their years of experience, Streeter Brothers made it happen. The frigid Straits of Mackinac, northern Michigan weather the guys are working in necessitates all the ground thaw equipment being used around the clock. And with the other construction equipment being used, they found themselves needing more diesel fuel delivered to the island. Webster and Garner Oil and Propane of Clio and Houghton Lake came through and on January 15th, a Webster and Garner delivery driver loaded his truck with over 2,000 gallons of off-road diesel fuel and made the trip over on another very windy day. The final week of January and the first couple weeks of February were some of the coldest and windiest days of the season. But there's no slowing down for the Streeter Brothers Inc. gang. If anything, Greg, Joe, and the crew had to work even harder to get everything that needed to be done finished on schedule. The intrepid Streeter Brothers crew worked pre-dawn till midnight on several days to make it happen. The April 30th deadline for Streeter Brothers to be completely done is approaching very fast, and the gang is going to have to have both ready-mix trucks, the concrete pump, and the skid loader and excavator off the island by that date. But there's still a large amount of concrete sidewalk and several sets of steps to pour in the pool area, as well as the pool coping in the adult pool, and the very large 18 riser set of steps at the back delivery ramp going down into the pool equipment room. But the Streeter Brothers Inc. crew was up to the task. April 24th and 25th, they formed the steps at the adult pool and two sets of steps at the top terrace walls. 
They also loaded several horse-drawn wagons with equipment to take down to the docks and ferry back to St. Ignace, where it will all be loaded onto the trailers to take back to the Streeter Brothers' offices in Burton, Michigan. Then Monday, they poured the colored steps at the adult pool and terrace walls. After finishing those steps, that afternoon, they started forming the dreaded steps behind the pool equipment room. The next morning, the crew formed the oval-shaped sidewalk at the grand stairway to the pool and poured it a couple hours later. That same afternoon, they had eight steps formed at the pool equipment room, so they decided to pour them as well. Wednesday morning started out with some rain in the area, so the Streeter Brothers crew formed more sidewalks, hoping to get a break in the weather for an afternoon pour, and they did. They were able to pour two large sections of sidewalks by the new pool house and adult pool. By Thursday, Greg and Joe were feeling very good about finishing the concrete work by 6 o'clock Friday. They formed and poured the last section of colored sidewalk and the last eight steps at the pool equipment room. It was looking very good for an early Friday finish. The last day came with just two items that needed to be formed and poured, the adult pool coping and a small set of steps going into the electrical room. Greg's wife Kathy came back to the island on Friday morning to help Greg move the rest of his stuff from his hotel room. That morning, they started placing the styrofoam coping pieces around the adult pool, but noticed that they were going to be short several pieces of coping. After checking all of the pool contractor's storage trailers, it was determined that the coping order was one box short. But after several phone calls, the pool contractor was able to find a box of coping in Minnesota. It was immediately put on a plane for Saturday morning delivery. So the Streeter Brothers crew formed and poured all the pool coping they could and the steps going into the electrical room. This left them with just a small pour on Saturday. Both ready-mix trucks and the concrete pump truck, along with other equipment, were escorted off the job site by the Mackinac police to the other side of the island at British Landing so that it could be ferried off the island later that night. Any motor vehicle must be escorted by the police when operated on any road on the island. With two bags of concrete left to pour and no equipment to mix the concrete, they had to use the one-yard mixer they started the job with back in October last year. And after seven months of pouring 1,425 cubic yards of concrete, over 5.7 million pounds, and with 30 tons of re-steel, and using the pump truck 52 times, Streeter Brothers Inc. of Burton, Michigan, finished their work. Six hours ahead of their final deadline set one year before. Whew. Remember how the site looked in October of last year? And in the dead of a northern Michigan winter? Take a look at us now. These were the steps that the crew had to pour twice when the bottom form gave way under the weight of the concrete the first time. Here's a look at the terrace area before and after. How do you like the new water slide? The new kids pool. The adult pool. All those colored sidewalks. The wood deck and southern wall. The new water slide and water jet splash pad play area. Oops, four bags of concrete left over. Somebody over ordered. The week of July 19th, a great surprise. Streeter Brothers Inc. was notified that they'd been nominated for a Michigan State Concrete Association Award for their outstanding work on the Grand Hotel Pool Project. Greg and Joe will be meeting with the judges to show them all the interesting details. The award won't be announced until 2022.